Good morning and welcome to Good News for Today. Mona here and uh, so glad you could join me. Well, our Gospel for today is from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 16, verses 1 to 9. Then Jesus said to his disciples, There was a rich man who had a manager, and charges were brought to him that this man was squandering his property. So he summoned him and said to him, What is this that I hear about you? Give me an accounting of your management, because you cannot be my manager any longer. Then the manager said to himself, What will I do now that my master is taking the position away from me? I'm not strong enough to dig, and I'm ashamed to beg. I have decided what to do, so that when I am dismissed as manager, people may welcome me into their homes. So summoning his master's debtors one by one, he asked the first, how much do you owe my master? He answered, A hundred jugs of olive oil. He said to him, Take your bill, sit down quickly, and make it fifty. Then he asked another, And how much do you owe? He replied, A hundred containers of wheat. He said to him, Take your bill and make it eighty. And his master commended the dishonest manager, because he had acted shrewdly. For the children of this age are more shrewd in dealing with their own generation than are the children of light. And I tell you, make friends for yourselves by means of dishonest wealth, so that when it is gone, they may welcome you into the eternal homes. The Gospel of Christ. Well, my friends, for the last time, please come along with me as we venture outside. Well, thank you for coming along. It's cool this morning, five degrees here in Tobermory. I'm still wearing my winter coat, uh, but thank you for coming along so far and uh, to, uh, to reflect more about this, uh, this very um, head-scratching parable, the parable of the dishonest steward, the dishonest manager, the shrewd manager, and various titles that have been applied to it over the years, over the centuries, over the millennia. I went to seminary initially because I thought that um, by going to school that somehow the, uh, the, the sort of explanation behind the parables would become clear to me and uh, that would help me in my own life and uh, in the lives of others. Unfortunately, the parables that Jesus tells um, really do not come, come at us at a, a head level and if we use only our head <laughs> to try to understand them, then we're going to be just left scratching it. This parable is very, um, very confusing and um, I was sort of heartened to, as I read commentaries about it, that uh, other commentators found it just as uh, confusing and wondered what the meaning behind it really could be. Well, I think that the, um, the problem with coming to this parable is that we generally come to all parables with our own ordinary awareness, our own ordinary understanding. Whereas Jesus was someone who walked every day, every moment, in the complete understanding that he was walking not only on the earth, but also in the kingdom of God. We hear um, the, him say over and over again, the kingdom of God, you can't point to it and say, here it is, or no, it's over there, uh, but the kingdom of God is at hand. The kingdom of God is within you. And so I, as I tried to think of what I was going to say about this, this parable, I came across at least three different interpretations as to how it, how it kind of, uh, what it means. Um, and none of the explanations to me made any sense, made any kind of, well, they made a little bit of sense, but uh, really it was confusing. Is, is Jesus saying, is Jesus praising this, the dishonest action of the steward? And was, were the actions of this manager um, dishonest? Um, I'm still not quite sure. The jury's still out in terms of that for me. Well, if this is the case, then what is there left to say? You know, over a year ago now, when Graham invited some of us to do these Good News for Today videos, it was important for me to include some sort of uh, little practice in each one um, so that 
it would take us out of our minds, out of our thinking minds, and uh, get us into the heart of, of the message of, of what Jesus' message was those many years ago. And um, I, I do hope that, um, that somehow you have some little practice that um, takes you out of your ordinary awareness and brings you into connection with the kingdom of God, which is at hand. The kingdom of God, which is within you. My practice has been the practice of centering prayer for 20 minutes a day, sitting down and consenting for God to work God's um, magic <laughs> in my own my own being. And uh, um, and I think over the years it has it has helped develop in me uh, an appreciation of the heart level uh, of which Jesus' message was. Uh, was coming in. Uh, do I understand everything completely? No. Will I understand everything completely at some point? Likely not. Um, but it is something that uh, is urgent and that um, that we develop the, the shrewdness of that dishonest manager to know that uh, work is necessary, um, a different kind of work, not work for the sake of work, but work for the vision that God has for this world. So I pray that uh, as you go about your day and your life, that uh, there is some little practice that you can um, commit to and, uh, and hopefully will help you in this, in this path, this walk with God, with this, this, the way of Jesus. It's been a pleasure um, bringing my own reflections um, to these videos and I pray that um, as you walk with God that uh, your, your uh, hopes and dreams um, of, a, of a new world and a new person, being a new person in Christ, will be realized. It's been an honor and privilege to walk with you so far and, uh, and I wish you all the best as you go about your life. Take care, and uh, I'll probably see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>